Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Maher Mirashad and this is Math 3120. Today we're taking a look at a question from PLQ6 Part 2 in the Applied Discrete Structures textbook, section 1.4.3, question 6, which says, let M be a positive integer with n bit binary representation in the form of a n minus one and minus two dot 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 a one a zero with a n minus one so this first bit being a one what are the smallest and largest values that m could have so the smallest value that m could have would be the one the a n minus one with the one bit at the front with everything else being a zero, and we know that's the smallest because if any other of these were ones, then it'd be slightly bigger. So considering that all of these rest of the numbers are zeros, we have two to the n minus one, and that's the only on bit there. Everything else is zero, so we could have done a plus zero, plus zero, but that doesn't matter. What really matters is this one bit that's on, which is the two to the n minus one bit. This radix here indicates what base we're working with. And similarly, for the largest value, we'll put everything to the ones. Every bit is on. Now, this could really get tedious to prove that what all this is. But rather, instead, we can take a shortcut. We can say, okay, let's take this number here. Let's take this number. And we're going to add a 1 to it. Now, this number is n minus 1, n bits long here. And when we add the 1 there, we get similar to what we had before. But now, this is n plus 1 bits long and we have to subtract the 1 at the end so what we get here is we can use our formula from before we can use we can use this formula here to figure out what that value is and what that value is is just 2 to the n and we have to subtract the 1 back and that's our result 2 to the n minus 1 and our base 10 radix and that's the solution. Thanks for watching.